Hey guys, Joe here, Devon Dice. Now, my studio that I usually film for is in a bit of dire straits at the minute. I've had to do some major repairs on the building, which is basically just a, a glorified shed. And um, it's still in a bit of shambles. I mean, I can show you the other way around. Uh, this is all the new stuff I've had to put in. New wall, new flooring because uh, we had a major leak so I've not done a lot recently because yeah I've not been able to get into the studio and I've not been able to do a lot of gaming so I am trying to bring back some videos and uh, hopefully this will change it up I am going to bring you a new unboxing video this unboxing video is so it's actually Tang Garden this is not the Kickstarter version I am so a little bit disappointed that I uh, missed out on the Kickstarter for some reason it didn't crop up in my like notifications or come up in my radar people talk about it until it was too late and the kickstart had finished and um it all got sent out so this is just um retail version that i got from meeple's corner i do have where's that gone so bad my room is i can't find anything i want where's that gone down here. A few moments later. Okay, so I do have this Tangard in the Golden Age. This is a mini, ex this is a kind of mini expansion for um, Tangard, which was part of the Kickstarter. Tangard, basically, uh, Tangard and Golden Age is basically, I believe, looking at the Kickstarter, this is all the ex um, stretch goals, most of the stretch goals. That were unlocked in the campaign. Um, you can see on the back here, lots of things. I actually bought this off of Facebook, off of someone selling it because apparently they didn't need it uh, for the game. Um, so I snapped it up and um, took a chance on it to see. And basically, I un unshrink wrapped it and um, left everything else punched out. There's the rules on that. So you've got a couple of player boards, a couple of extra tiles, this game, uh, tokens down there, more landscape, more scenery bits. Uh, that is part of it. Oh. Felt like two boards in one then. But these these are thick. Look how thick that is. And then got dice here, some cards. Um, Oh, and little figures plus faces in here. So that's quite nice. Uh, quite happy I picked that up because um, I am a bit of a completionist and a little bit gutted I missed the Kickstarter. But as I'm here, like people are just playing with the base box and not really worried about it there's a few kicks there is a few mini expansions you can pick up from the site so it's by fun the gift games um so if you went over to the site you can pick up their little mini expansions that they've got like the swan the cherry tree or something like that and um that so this is just for it and the other thing they're doing I like this so they're, they're putting trees back so buy this game and plant a tree. This is quite nice because you can imagine how much our hobby takes up a lot of cardboard and that means trees. So it's quite nice that they're actually put, trying to put something back uh, when you buy this. So here's the back, nice layout of the game, nice description. And then what you get inside it, which looks like quite a lot. It is very heavy, it's quite a fit game. It's got one to four players. 14 that was one, four players, and 45 minutes to play. Whoa, that seems like a quick game, but that's not the beauty of this game. This game, as you probably could tell from the little mini expansion I just opened, um, and I've been so looking forward to unboxing this. I've just, I've had it for like, I don't know, a month on my shelf when I brought it 
I've just been so busy lately that I've not been able to um, basically play anything or even unbox stuff. So this is something I've been looking forward to for a while now. So, okay, we have, uh, so first paragraph, basically it's this punch board thing where once you've unpunched it, you might want to put all the punch boards below it just to uh, lift the container up a bit to support uh, some more structural support. And then also, so you're not wasting punch boards here. Mm, that's very nice. Okay, that's the first bit. So the rule book, very nicely laid out. Writing is very, very clear. Lots of examples, what to do, what not to do. Some very rendered stuff of how to play, which is quite nice. Don't mind that if it's actually making a clear, honest way of playing. And then solo event at the top there, we'll set up and play. And then character reference on the back. Very nice. So we have board one. This board is thick and it feels nice. It feels, oh, feels like, oh, it feels very deluxe. Very nice indeed. So we've got some punch outs here. These are for where the uh, background scenery goes of things. These holes are the dots, so are just dots. But look at these, that's very nice. Just for a plain, simple board, that is very nice. Looking carefully. And these must be our player boards. One in each colour, very thick again. We have players' cards. What's the colour? Oh, wow, really nice linen fit cards. They have gone all the way in the quality of this game. Probably, I mean, they are thick. And it is linen finish, but probably want to sleeve it again. Another little deck of cards. I think these are for decoration. Artwork is lovely. Very good too. So we've got some fish. We've got birds. So it's also got numbers. So it looks like these are the starting next to it. Petals. I don't know. Green, blue. Pine trees, peach trees, magnolia, willow, pavilions, bridges, very nice. Again, nice quality. Plastic pieces. Some plastic. I don't know what these ones are for. Some kind of stand holders. I don't know. Find out in a minute, probably. Uh, pavilion roofs. Actually, didn't realise these are plastic. So you can see where the uh, pavilion things. That's quite nice. Now we've got all the miniatures. How lovely are they? Dinky shoes. Or he. Very small compared to the rest. A little bit of detail in there. It's that kind of a mould, quick mould ones. Probably could do with a wash, maybe a quick paint. 
bring out some of the colours so people know what they do. Maybe my next paint job, if I ever get around to painting. Uh, these must be pavilion stands. Again, these are hard plastic, really solid, where the miniatures are soft plastic. Now it stands for colours, so you know what colour you are, buy it probably, different colours. And then we've got some cubes to keep track of your resources. Then underneath here must be, yes, a big stack. cardboard which again really thick they've gone all out these must be pavilion um, walls and they've got decorations here yeah. these are coins you can you, that was a kickstarter thing was you can get metal coins which I'm not bothered I haven't got these are really good these are nice and thick I mean I'm not complaining about these coins at all. Now we've got some tiles, so I think this is a centre stein tile. Quite a few tiles, which is quite nice. They're not double sided, are they? No. So we've got some colours on the back. Then we've got wall, these are like kind of background horizon sceneries. Then we've got trees. There we go, tree. Again, this is all the same thickness, so these are going to be sturdy. These are like the uh, photosynthesis, so photosynthesis, but more sturdy. Lovely. Black core cardboard finishing. Which actually gives it a nice little finishing touch. And some more scenery, more trees. So there we go. So that's what you get in Tang Garden. Um, I'll just open up. So this is the pack of cards from the uh, expansion. Because I've kind of done it all out of order. You know, butterflies, ducks, blossom tree. Uh, what's that one? Ninfi. Ninfi. Don't know what that is. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Uh, as a vase or vase. So, yeah, so that's what you get in the uh, Golden Eggs expansion. And then, of course, you've got the extra characters. I don't know if this is all going to fit in the main game. Hope it does. So that was the unboxing of Tang Garden and also Tang Golden Golden Age expansion. Um, thank you for watching. Um, hope you do enjoy the videos. Please give a thumb up of what you like that you like it. Subscribe to the channel. It helps me out. And put a comment whether you played this or not and if you like it because I really do hope I like it because once the Kickstarter and I believe there is a second printing with extra expansions coming out very soon of this so hopefully i'm gonna get this played decide whether i only like it and back the next kickstarter and get everything i missed um because this looks like a really beautiful game and i hope my wife and my family like playing it so thank you for watching and good night